triumph, and my guest today is Susan Wingrove. Susan, Poppy Plain. In fact, Susan spoke this morning at Smiles at Sea, and what I learned is how critical and how important implant maintenance actually is. So Susan, why is it so, it just seems more of an emphasis now more than ever. Yeah, we've been actually researched for that now. There is 44% of people who have an implant place, and they see no one for implant maintenance or any home care, and they've got mucositis, will fail. And only 18% of patients with mucositis, if they are seen regularly by a dental professional, will develop peri-implantitis. So it's, hygienists are critical. Walk us through what that would look like, ideally, for an implant protocol. Yes, the Optigate, um, I, I jokingly say is my assistant that I never had. The second thing would be to polish the implant crowns or structure. Proxit was uh, the number one, they make a Profi paste, Ida Clark does as well, that has been the number one Profi paste for Emacs, for implants, safe on all, all ceramic crowns. It's just amazing. And then you follow that up by using the only antimicrobial varnish on the market, which is Cervicite Plus. And that protects the implant to your next implant being appointment. Optigate, obviously, you under, like I understand seeing more. The second thing, though, what I find interesting is the low abrasivity within Proxit. So why would that be important? What message does a hygienist need to hear to use this product? Yes, Proxit is amazing because it does not scratch any of the full ceramic or the restorations. It's recommended for Emacs, which is critical now. We have a lot of Emacs implant crowns out there, and that is the number one case for that. Mm -hmm. And we don't want the abrasivity of the hummus in the mouth around anyone that has any implants. So it's critical that you, when you do polish any tooth in the mouth, as, as an, or any patient with a tooth of an implant in their mouth, we need to use Proxy. Okay. What is the difference between you have an antimicrobial being chlorhexidine in a varnish versus if they don't have that, you know, they have something without the chlorhexidine. So how would that make such a difference for implant maintenance? Well, for implant maintenance, you don't use fluoride on implants. We've stayed away from that. And Cervitec Plus is the only antimicrobial varnish on the market today. And it has good research backing that it's safe and effective to kill the biofilm that will build up on the implants. So that's what we're trying to do. We need those ingredients, the 1% chlorhexidine and thymanol, in order to do that antimicrobial need that we need on the implants, especially in exposed implants. It's a different way of thinking yes. of how to have a successful protocol with implants, and you can do that with these two products. So I want to thank you for your time. Thank you for doing the research, and thank you for your expertise. Join us next time, and until then, take what you learn and make a difference with it.